Ooh, it's time to look at the dark side of the Midsodor Railway. As you see, the Midsodor Railway was a railway on the the island of Sodor. It was a now gauge railway. It, it it closed in 1946. However, there was a reason why it closed. Some people like to believe that the first number two of the railway, Stanley, was the main cause of the railway's downfall. However, I'm here to tell you this. It wasn't Stanley's fault when the Midsole Railway closed. Yes, Stanley did, did break down. However, or should I say he got, he got hit by something? What would that be? Well, what if I told you it was another engine? I'm here to tell you the story of the engine who really ended the mid soda Railway. Mwahahahaha! <laughs> Hello everyone, now this is a story that has never been talked before and I'm going to tell you the story of the engine who really entered the mid Railway. Now you might be thinking, why does Angel look happy? But what if I told you something happened? Now before we get to it, we must tell you who this engine is. If you didn't read the nameplate already, this engine's name is Tobias. Tobias was a Kurt Stewart saddle tank built in 1927 as one of the last few batch. He was painted in dark blue with red lining and apparently when he first came out of the factory he was sent to work in another factory in Ireland. Not much was known about him when he worked in Ireland. He was a good worker and a hard worker and he proved himself time and time again. But that's not what meets the eye. We'll get to that in a bit. The mid Railway needed another locomotive to be the number two. There was no reason for Tobias to come to the railway. All he needed was a number two, a permanent number two. You see, the first number two, Stanley, was turned into a pumping engine. The second number two is Smudger. He arrived shortly after Stanley. But however, he was turned to a generator for his nasty and rude behavior. Same with Stanley. The third number two was Andreas, the former express engine. However, unlike his predecessors, he did not get off so easily. He was turned into a boat. Don't know how that works, but it doesn't matter. And we don't know where Andreas is. However, for Smudger, he's on a railway in Japan and he's still working there to this day. Just want to give you a heads up. So as you expect, the manager of the mid Railway decides, you know what, screw it, I'm buying another engine that'll be the permanent number two. And if, and if he screws up, I'm going to be so angry. Thankfully for him, they, he went to the factory in Ireland and purchased Tobias. Tobias was really happy. He thought he could finally see the world. When he first arrived to the mid Railway, he was immediately given the number two. And unlike his predecessors, his relationship with the manager was obviously a happy one. He worked hard, never complained, and doing his work without fuss. In fact, he might be the manager's favourite engine, but we'll get to that in a bit. You see, while he was a good worker, there was something wrong with him. He was very shy to say the least he didn't talk to anyone that much 
he obviously he self isolate and distance from himself with everyone else. No one knows why. What was he too shy to say to be in a conversation with his friends? No one knows. But what if I told you someone was haunting him? Years later, in 1946, the Mitsuru Railway was having a very hard time to keep up. So he decided to send some of the engines to work at the mines. However, he chose one of the engines to be Tobias, which was a big mistake. There was something wrong with Tobias. He didn't seem like his normal self anymore. He's, when everyone else was asleep, he talked to himself and he'd sometimes cry. But no one knows why that is. Some say that he's upset about the rare might be closing. Others say that he's going mad. Others say he's already mad. Already crazy. And probably should have been sent to an asylum. But without doubt, Tobias did work hard. However, one day, he lost it. One day, it all happened. The voice in his head said, why do you still function? You're not worthy to run on the rails. Your friends, your friends rather let you run away in a scrapyard to be forgotten about for the rest of your life. You sick little train. Uh, 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 get out of my head. I can't take this anymore. Then Falcon came up. Tobias? Tobias, what's wrong? Tobias looked down for a moment. Then he turned to Falcon. Falcon! Do me a favor. Look after everyone else for me. And he chuffed away. Falcon didn't know where he was going, but he but Tobias didn't go far. Tobias switched points that was heading towards the mine. He was heading towards the mine, but what for? Then it happened. He rushed straight into the mines, shouting the, his last ever words. End it! He said, and he chuffed as fast as he could to the mines. He was going so fast, but then disaster struck. One moment, Stanley was working. The next, Boom! Tobias crashed into Stanley, and then the mine collapsed, trapping nearly everyone inside. A rescue chain came to rescue the workmen. However, the, the 75 people that were in the mines, only 7 survived. Falcon did actually feel a little bit bad. He couldn't. He could have stopped Tobias, but he didn't. However, the manager did not blame him. However, to make sure to keep this whole secret, the manager pretended that Tobias never even existed and blamed it on Stanley. Even though that, even though it wasn't Stanley's fault. He couldn't deny that one of his own engines ended the whole railway, all because what they did by ending their own lives. The manager decided to do some more digging, and he contacted the people who used to own Tobias. He told what happened to him, and he asked if there was any information. The people who owned Tobias confessed. Apparently he found out the truth. Tobias was working at the factory. However, something bad happened. And a man called Jimbo Krabs was doing his work. If you guys don't know, Jimbo Krabs, or people like to call him Old Cranky Joe, he was drunk. He was a crazy drunk man. And while he was walking on the tracks, Tobias was reversing and accidentally hit him. Some people believe that old 
Cranky Joe haunts Tobias and, and torments him for the rest of his life. To make sure it doesn't go viral, they had no choice but to hide the whole thing, but it asked, pretend it never happened. However, this was not the last time of Tobias. A day before the railway closed, two men went to the mine, the same mi mine that Tobias ended his own life. Apparently, they were looking for an engine. They found Tobias, sort of. And guess what happened? Hey, are you okay over there? But all Tobias did was look at the ground and said, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. The two work the two men didn't know what he was talking about, so they decided to turn turn to talk to himself. Is he alright? Is he crazy? I don't know. Maybe because the railway is closing? Hmm, seems to be a logic answer. But when they turned around, they were shocked. Tobias just disappeared. Where did he go? I swear he was right there. Did we see a ghost? I believe so. And and the two men ran, ran away from the old mines, never to return to them. Fun fact, these two men were the ones who rescued Bertram and took him to the gold mines. Around 50 years later, there were five teenage kids, three girls, and two boys. To put it politely, these kids were kind of troublemakers, but they're teenage kids. What did you expect from the 1990s? So, one night, they snuck out their parents' houses and decided to, to adventure out and uh, check out the old railway. They found tracks that must have led to the old mines. And then they found him. They found Tobias just sitting there on the siding, looking down. They asked him if he was alright. Hey, alright? I think he must have been abandoned for years. He looked down on the tracks and he said, I didn't mean to do it. 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 He was saying it in a sad and unknown tune. One moment, the, the kids looked around. The next, they were shocked. Tobias was nowhere to be seen. He just disappeared. Where did he go? I swear he was right there. I, I don't know. Where is he? The two boys were scared the most. In fact, the two boys were crying. They were just too scared because they just encountered a ghost. The kids didn't want to stay in the mines any longer. They all went home to their houses, never to return to the mines ever again. It is unknown what happened to the kids afterwards. Did they get in trouble with their parents for sneaking out the house? Did they get away with it? I suppose we'll never know. However, the story to buy doesn't truly end there. Apparently, the local people that were living nearby the old mines heard the not just I didn't mean to do it, but the screams and the, and the big loud voice of someone that's shouting End it! and ran to the mines and there was a huge crash they all rushed outside to see it but nothing was there they believed the theory that this was the reason why the missile really actually closed and that was the main reason why the story was never adapted to TV series. It's unknown if Wilbur Audrey wanted to put to make a mall to bias, but he decided not to because if he tells a story about him, it might give the viewers and the readers nightmares. It's unknown if Tobias will ever move on and find peace. Some people hope for the best for him, others say it's highly likely. But what do you think? 
Do you think Tobias will ever find peace and move on? Well, I suppose we shall never know. Take care.